Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about, uh, I have not won a pre-release since Dark Ascension. And I've come in the top 8 quite a bit of times, even as the number 1 seed. And I have just fallen every single time. And I'm trying to figure out like why I haven't done so well in pre-releases. And I think it comes down to, so again, I've played in many stores in New York City, and in Williamsburg, Virginia, and now in Houston, Texas, in Humboldt, Texas, I guess. So I played in many stores and I've always been able to make the top eight quite easily, no matter how many players. Sometimes there's even in New York Battlefield or Battlegrounds was 100 plus players at the Ascension and I got in the top eight and it was really great. And then I just crashed and I think it comes down to the decks I play. So I play a very aggressive Boros type of build always. If I can be in Boros, I will be in Boros. If I can be in mono red, I will choose that. Mono white, I will choose that. And those are the, the archetype. So in the beginning, you can really beat opponents quite easily and you don't really need to worry too much about it. The games go by fast, you're not thinking too much. And towards the top eight, then you run into decks that just have bombs. And Boros being very aggressive, as soon as you run into a bomb, you might be able to overcome that really awesome creature one time, but you're not going to overcome the second creature because it takes too much resources. You might have to slam, you know, two spells and then a creature into that, or you might have to block with your whole team just to get rid of it because you know you can't win otherwise. Towards the top eight, by definition, they just have bombs, and bombs are like very large creatures on curve. I'm talking about, you know, like. Things like the Mythic Vehicle, which it's like OP if you can put a crew on it, because it just shoots down all your creatures. Or, you know, a Planeswalker Bomb, like any cards that will just win you the game, win your opponent game, you might be able to handle one of them as an aggressive deck, but you're not going to handle all of them. And once you get to the top eight, you face all these people with really good decks. Now, some of your decks are just nonsensical. Because there was this one pre-release, I think it was a core set, it was this core set with Garouk in it as the main villain. The dude had Garouk, the dude had Nightmare, he had seven on color mythics and rares, including a foil card, a foil um, rare of some type. And I'm just like, well, that sucks because there's no way I will be able to beat you. And I think it comes down to pre-releases being... It should be casual, it should be fun, but people just like to win. And you can kind of tell who those people are. They don't shake your hand afterwards, they don't talk to you during their mats, they have headphones. I mean, at our pre-release, we have this one dude who puts his headphones in and he won't talk to anyone. He's like pro, and he's not really pro. He doesn't, actually, he's not actually that good. But I just have a gut feeling that like, I my one ones with haste and my two twos with haste, it, it does not compare to a deck with seven on color rares and mythics. Now, I was very su suspicious about that deck because what happened was this group of players, uh, they talk to each other and then they, I think they trade cards with each other and they should know better than to do that. And so they all get like rares on color because then you play their friend and they have like four or five on color cards and it's just insane. But uh, hopefully you guys do extremely well in your pre-release. I would love to uh, you guys leave a comment here where, where you're going to pre-release. Uh, how fun do you have fun at your pre-release if this was released a little, little later. Uh, I unfortunately won't be able to go, so you guys will have to go for me. But I hopefully will be able to grab some cool stuff to open a little later this week. Bye guys.